Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Quartier Very Soon Machine. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a chicha get ready with me. And the topic is do not get married for these reasons. And yeah, while we're going to be chatting, I'll be installing this unit. It is a 24 inch unit and it's from Lexquiz store on Amazon. I'll post the link down below for the unit if you guys want to get it. So they sent me this unit and I really, really love it. I love the kinky texture. Like it looks really, really good. And yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, Hi guys, my name is Justine. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below, it's free. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also, do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be in the description box down below for your convenience. And yeah, you guys, if you're a returning subscriber, you already know, it is all love. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly, truly appreciate you. And yeah, you guys, let's get started. So in this video, I'll be doing my hair. As you guys can see, the makeup is already done. So... And today we're gonna be installing the wig. It actually came in with, you know, things to put on a on the wig, and it's a lock wig with lashes as well. Um, you guys know I like my dramatic lashes, so I don't really wear this, but I can give it to somebody. It came with wig cap. So this wig is a lock braided wig, and it is from Lex Quay store on Amazon I will link it down below for your convenience and yeah so you guys can check it out it was actually $58.99 and yeah it was under $60 so this is the wig she looks so good oh gosh like yes I don't know if the camera is doing it any justice but this wig look really really nice like She's giving afro type of natural hair, like our kinky texture. Yep, that's what she's giving. You know, um, they sent me this unit. So, yeah, you guys, it also has an elastic band, which, which I really, really appreciate. And it's actually adjustable. You can adjust it right here. So, we, you know, we stand for that. It has three combs, two at the front, one at the back. And it also has the adjustable straps right here. And I have a small head. So yeah, I will just go ahead and make this tighter so it can fit my small head. Um, yeah, this is not a hair tutorial video. If you guys want me to do hair tutorial videos, let me know. But we're going to be chatting. So I got my notes down here on my phone. So you're going to see me looking at my phone. So the first thing I want to say is... Do not get married because you want to please people. Baby, listen. Listen and listen very carefully, okay? A lot of people get married because they want um, to please people or because they're told they're getting too old or, you know, for the, you know, for the look, right? For the look of saying that they're married or because they have been with a person for a while. They want to be like, oh yeah, let's get married because people are going to start asking why aren't we married and we've been together for this number of time. Baby, that's the first mistake you shouldn't make because you shouldn't get married to please anybody because while you are in that marriage, when things are going wrong, those people won't be there for you. Those people won't be the one going through those things, right? So make sure you do not get married to please people. Also, guys, you see the baby hairs? I don't know if this camera is catching everything, but yeah, yo, the baby hairs are also on point. But, um, yeah, that's the first thing. Do not get married to please people. The second thing is do not get married because of society pressure. Okay? So, you guys know, it has been all over social media. Everybody has been getting engaged. You know, this whole, this whole end of the year situation, all I see on social media is people getting engaged left and right. Like I said, I have a small head, so I'm just making it tighter. I just adjusted it. It looks like, you know, if you wear a bra, like a bra stripe, yeah, you just adjust it, you know, like so. Yeah, so, yeah, like, everybody and their mama are legit getting engaged. And, it, you know, I understand it can be a bit um, frustrating if you want to get engaged, as in, like, you're in love with the person you, um, you are with, and you want them to propose to you. Okay, I understand, but make sure you're not just thinking like that because 
You're seeing people getting engaged. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. She's looking good. <laughs> Let me fix this girl a little bit more. Y'all know I love me my side part. So, if you want to get married to somebody or you want that person to propose to you and get married eventually because you're seeing everybody and the mama getting married and getting engaged on social media or because you feel like that's the right thing to do because society says after you're with somebody for so and so time you need to think about marriage then you're doing it for the wrong reason i am sorry you are not doing it for the right reason you are doing it to please society and just to conform to what society says is right and i don't think that should be a reason why you get married so the next thing i want to say is do not get married to settle down or rush to get married because you feel like you are getting old and need to be married by a certain age. You may regret it. I put it in parentheses on purpose because if you're going to get married because you feel like, you know, your clock is running, like as a woman, you know, you're this, this age and you need to be married by, that, by this time, then I'm sorry to break it down to you. You might regret it. Because um, you will just be rushing and rushing and rushing the whole time. This is not something you need to rush. Like, marriage is not something you need to rush. Do it because you guys are ready. Do it because you and that partner, you know, want to make that move. Don't do it because you want... I'm trying to feel which side I like more. <laughs> so don't do it. I'm not a big middle part person. And don't solely get married for love. I posted a video about that. I'll include it up here. Do not get married for love. Don't be like, but I'm in love with this person. Let's get married now. Get married because of other things that comes within the relationship, not just love. That's why the, I will come up here, go ahead and check that video out so you can know why um, I'm saying that you shouldn't get married just for love. I want to lay my baby hairs, but then again, I don't. I like these messy looking baby hairs. I do. I don't think I want to put gel on it. I like them like that. I do. So, the next thing I want to say is, um, do not rush the marriage process because what is meant to be for you will be for you, okay? So, oh gosh, let's get into this parting. Like, the parting is so good. The parting is really, really good. So, I just believe that what is meant for you will be for you regardless, right? So, you don't want to rush and get in a relationship and marry somebody, then have to get a divorce and you finally find your soulmate, the person that was meant for you, that God created for you. So, what is meant for you will be for you and you just need to, you know, let that happen organically. Don't rush anything, don't force anything. And, yeah. So, last but not least, I want to talk about do not get married out of convenience. And we see that a lot with, like, celebrities and, you know, your favorite YouTube couples, I'm sorry to break it down to you, but we know like we have seen so many scandals of like YouTube couples, but they stay together and then get married. And when they're about to divorce, they're going to come out with videos titled My Truth. And they will be like, oh, we fell out of love a long time ago, but we stayed together because, you know, people like to see us together also because we were making a lot of money together. Like all about convenience, like how convenient they were together, not because it's so wanted to be in a relationship but more of the convenience i'm like just keep your truth to yourself because you did it to yourself like why would you get married with somebody out of convenience like that doesn't make any sense especially if you know that you know how they say it for better for worse that's what marriage is all about so if before the marriage you have seen so many red flags and decided to stay get married to this person start having kids with this person and now when you guys get a divorce you want to come out with my truth like no keep your truth to yourself like just keep it to yourself because at the end of the day, I understand the money was good. I understand the viewers wanted to see you guys together. But you know what else is better? Your mental health. Something better? Your mental health. You being mentally okay is better than the views, the money, and all that. Mentally, you are obviously not okay. Because if you're going to come out with your truth, talk about some we fell out of love a long time ago. But, you know, we just couldn't, you know, just break up. I kept giving him chances. I've had chances. I thought he would change. I thought she would change. Uh... Keep it to yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, but keep it to yourself. At the end of the day, you did it to yourself. I understand the money was good. Like, I literally understand the money is good, everything is good, but I feel like a lot of people do not care about their mental. Like, how are you mentally in that relationship? You know, forget about the convenience. Mentally, were you okay? Most likely not. That's why most of them come out talking about some, oh, um, this person was drain mentally draining. 
duh even us the viewers we have seen all type of red flags that we know in a regular relationship the person will have not stayed but you stayed and decided to get married to that person like they, i don't know people feel like because that in the public eyes they have to do certain things to please the people watching them like the viewers like no if you're not happy in that relationship leave do not push it through marriage a lot of them say oh we got married because i thought it was going to change things how you <clears throat> i'm so passionate with this okay so you're in a relationship boyfriend and girlfriend the man is already treating you like crap the man is doing all type of cheating on you the man is out here swinging his private area in anybody's anybody's v card you know he's doing all that videos be coming out proofs literally actual proofs like videos and everything be coming out and you stayed and talk and then when you guys divorce you come out here telling my truth and your truth is you thought marriage was gonna change it like marriage was really gonna change it like you thought about getting married and or having kids that's another one or because you know i felt like get, by giving him a kid he will be a better father and a better husband ah uh ah -uh. uh -uh. <laughs> so yeah boyfriend and girlfriend he's not good to you you say I will just thug it out, push it through marriage, thinking as a husband he will do better. As a husband, he doesn't do better. You say, Let me push it out again, give him a, a kid, and then more kids, thinking he will change. He's not changing. Now you want to divorce and come out with a video, name my truth. Keep your truth to yourself. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. You did it to yourself. Like all this because the money was good. Yes, money is good, but at the end of the day, how are you? mentally how good are you like how do you feel mentally because that must be mentally draining like being with somebody staying with the person because you think they will change after y'all get married and he doesn't change give him children he still doesn't change and now you want to divorce and you're going to be left with the kids that's just too much when you could have just ended at the beginning but you didn't want to because the people love seeing you guys together the the the, the views were good which means the money was good and y'all got all these assets together then what money is the root of all evils y'all money money breaks family people kill others because of money like money that's why i personally do not have an attachment with money i don't like to see money like like i'm not obsessed with money but a lot of people in this world is sad to say but they're obsessed with money like they will do any and everything for money and it's just crazy you know, money is legit a piece of paper that was given value. Like, do you guys understand that? Like, I'm so passionate with this topic because it's like, marriage is not a joke. Let, let's not talk about you guys' favorite YouTuber. I don't want to say the name because I don't want one coming for me. But you guys' favorite YouTuber that got married to another YouTuber because they literally said we just got married because we wanted to just break the internet. And they did because they made a lot of views. Y'all know who I'm talking about if you guys be watching YouTube for real. They legit got married and then divorced like a couple months later. They legit got married and stated after they stated that it was all staged. Like they got married on purpose and then divorced right after. They got married because they wanted the internet to just explode. Which like I said they did. Because the views were great. Like they were getting millions and millions of views and followers. And they got so much money because of that story. Because it was two YouTubers that were big that got together and got married. Just for the internet to explode. Y'all see how far some people can can really take this whole money and fame situation? Y'all see how far to the point of... Because they actually, it wasn't a fake marriage. They actually got married, for real. Like, it wasn't a fake marriage. They, just the convenience of blowing up the internet and getting all the views and the money and the fame made them go to the extent of getting married. Then divorce a couple months later after they have made so much money. Like, money is legit a piece of paper that was given value. It's like tomorrow they can say from now on, this is going to be money. And everybody get obsessed with this. Like, that's legit money. Yo, let me just not ramble on because when it comes to the convenience, we see that a lot. Like, we see that a lot, on, especially 
with you guys' favorite YouTubers. All right, you guys, I don't want to keep rambling you guys' ears off because I get so passionate when it comes to all these type of topics. So, yeah, you guys comment down below what you guys think about this topic, what you guys think about what I said. Like I said, these are all my opinion. And guess what? One thing about opinions, everybody got one. You guys can go ahead and respectfully, you know, share what you think about my opinions. And, um, yeah, I want to hear... You guys' opinions as well. Why, why are the reason why you think somebody shouldn't get married? Um, let's chat in the comment section down below. I look forward to reading it. Um, yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, y'all, this unit is so good. Like, it, it's the kinky texture for me. Legit. Like, I can make it real pretty and add these on too. Like, these are real cute. I probably should add one on camera, right? Y'all want to see how, how one looks on it. Let me just go ahead and add one. So let me put it right here. Period. Mm. <laughs> Period. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It helps me a whole lot. Don't forget to also follow me on my social media platform, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be in the description box down below for your convenience. The link to this unit will also be in the description box as well for your convenience. And yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.